Hey true believers, this is Dr. T. Welcome to my comic book channel. And finally, it's Eternals time. Stay tuned. First, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're really enjoying today's content, press that notification bell. So all of the books I'm going to show you today were a joint purchase between myself and my brother-in-law, Zach Attackery 21 that's his uh, name on Instagram. And so I'm going to show you today six Eternals books and then a bonus book at the end that I have yet to unbox, even though I've had it for well over a month. And so let's get started. So first... Here is Eternals number one, 9.4 off white to white pages. This one was purchased on Shortboxed on April 6th. So here's one copy. And here we have another copy of Eternals number one, a 9.4 with white pages. And on the cover here in the yellow shirt, that's Icarus, one of the Eternals, and it is his first appearance, and even though it doesn't say it up here. On the top, it just says origin and first appearance of the Eternals, but Icarus is a, uh, the, the main Eternal in, in this issue. And then he's showing Dr. Daniel Damien and his daughter Margot Damien, and it's her first appearance in this book, this chamber where, they, where they're trying to find uh, the, the space gods here, the, uh, the, the remnants of the Eternals. And so we picked up this copy. And then be, even before that, I believe March 26th, and this was an eBay purchase, another Eternals number one, 9.4 with white pages. And so we're happy to have these three books. Looking forward to the trailer uh, coming out. These were not books that we were intending on keeping, but they were, these were definitely uh, modest investment books to be able to, to buy and then sell at the right time. And then we have an Eternals number two in a 9.2 with white pages. This is the first appearance of Ajax and the Celestials. And Ajax is, of course, being played by Salma Hayek. And this book we bought on April 2nd. So I've been holding on to it a little while before, I, before making a video of it, just finally getting around to it. So here's that. And here is the Eternals number three in a 9.2 with white pages. We bought this on April 1st. And this is the first appearance of Cersei, who is the love interest of Dane Whitman, who becomes the Black Knight. And of course, Dane Whitman is being played by Kit Harington and was signed to six movies. So we definitely believe that there's something happening between these two characters. And this is her first appearance and all of these books 9294s they all look really nice i mean some of these 94s that i showed you really look like 96s uh, so these are these are really sharp crispy books and then here eternals number 5 the first appearance of thena though cgc in this case does not list her here and of course thena is portrayed by Angelina Jolie, Jolie. and that that little teaser trailer that we had for 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 phase 4 of of the MCU showed showed Jolie uh, igniting like her her energy sword because it's like she uses energy weapons and this is that first appearance and a really high grade 9.6 white pages so these are some really nice eternals books and then now I want to get into this bonus book that we have that fit in, though it's not an Eternals book, it fits in with these books. So let's see what it is. So here we have Avengers number 47, the first appearance of Dane Whitman in a 9.0 with white pages check out that crispy copy and it also says he becomes the new black knight in the next issue of course number 48 and there's a magneto and toad appearance 
I mean, apart from the the Dane Whitman first appearance, which is huge, that's a great Magneto <laughs> battling his children Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. But this rounds off this set of Eternals books because he is definitely in there. I believe the character, Dane Whitman, in the movie, he's an archaeologist, and somehow that's going to factor in to probably the discovery of the Eternals. They've been on the Earth for thousands of years, and I forgot to mention that the the Eternals one the Eternal the, the Eternals one books. These are also it doesn't list it, but this is also the first appearance of the Deviants, which are the antagonists to the Eternals, as Jack Kirby wrote them. And I read something interesting today. Originally, this was written as it was written by Jack Kirby because he had left Marvel. Uh, not on the greatest terms, and I'm, I I read just a few months ago a biography of Stan Lee, and the author did a did a great job of 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 I believe fairly showing the the back and forth between Lee and Kirby and their relationship. But he had left, and then he came back to do something he really wanted to, which was which was this introducing Olympia, and this book was not part of the regular Marvel Comics continuity. But of course we know that the Eternals will be part of the MCU continuity and are going to play a big role. Because I don't know about you, but I remember when Guardians of the Galaxy was teased, when that was coming out, and thinking, why did, would they have, why would they pick Guardians of the Galaxy? And then going, seeing it in theaters in 2014, and just having the greatest time watching them bring those characters to life. I'm confident that that, that this is what's going to happen uh, with the Eternals. At least I'm hoping so. And not just because of investment purposes and wanting a great return on these books. No, I want this movie to be successful. Because like many of you, I'm a huge fan of the MCU. And I want to see it succeed. So that's all for this video. And remember comics for life.